going loud or keeping it quiet? Actually, don't answer that. Welcome to Payday 2, a game from 2013 that I ignored for seven years because I'm a brain-dead moron. I know, I know, I'm late. But it is simply too good to ignore, and I'm the guy that needs to tell you about it. So in the words of the cloaker... Better late than never! And the reason I say that is as a recent Payday 2 rookie myself, I was bombarded with all these words and concepts and shit that I didn't understand, like a seven-year flood was drowning me slowly. There are so many words being said right now that I don't understand. When Dodge Crib build Infamy 25 level 100, been playing the game since day one. Literally sucked off Almir Listo. Please let me in. <laughs> Which is why I'm gonna burn all the excessive details and show you Payday 2 through my eyes as a casual shitter that's never gone stealth, never gone above overkill difficulty, and should probably be banned from the game. Career criminals, my ass! Bane. Oh my god. Bane, I'm in Minecraft. Bane. Bane, I'm in Minecraft. <laughs> Payday 2 is a game where you steal shit and kill people. Technically, there's some extracurriculars involving methamphetamine, rigged elections, and nuclear weapons, but for the most part, it's theft and murder in the template of Guys, the blank. Go get it. Guys, the thermal drill. Go get it. This can range from the pedestrian cracking a small bank vault to steal some cash with the world's biggest piece of shit drill. Keep drilling, you piece of shit. To the maniacal cooking methamphetamine while under a full-scale assault from the FBI, trying not to mix up ingredients and blow yourself to bits while Donald Trump is millie rocking and blind firing a minigun. Where the fuck are these guys? Oh, you can do that? <laughs> what the? You're literally millie rocking with a minigun when Trump uh, gets in. Remember to vote in the primaries! Not right, only are you cooking meth during a police assault, you are learning how to cook meth. These heists can be done quietly, which involves stealth, timing, and the ability to quickly answer pagers after you murder security guards. Sorry about that. I think maybe it's from all the acid I dropped this morning. <laughs> Just kidding. But I'ma keep it Wakanda 2018 with you, Crook. We don't do that here. Hold on, you wanna play? Let's play! Let's play! Because come on, I didn't buy a fucking minigun and queue up Razor Mine just so I could raid the Department of Justice quietly. Let's fucking go! Imagine doesn't have the highest body count for this day. I'm going to be very concerned. <laughs> this ammo doesn't belong to you. Does it matter? I'd be more than happy to give the Department of Justice their bullets back. You're getting it now. All those heists in Crime.net are just a bunch of missions where you press F on objectives and try not to get curb stomped by cloakers. See how simple that is? We're smarter, not harder. Speaking of which, it's time to learn who you're up against. From the normal difficulty cannon fodder like security guards, beat cops, and F-tier SWAT teams that exist to screw scream at you and die. Why don't we just stand here? God damn it! Someone tell command we need to move! Literally spawn camp to the police out of their car. <laughs> you dropped <laughs> the wrong vent, fellas. I'm sorry, you just did. To the special enemies you'll experience on higher difficulties, each with their own unique brand of pain. You call this resisting arrest? We call this a difficulty tweak. The cloaker is the perfect place to start. This guy will crawl out of a sewer grate, somersault through the air, and drop kick your ass into a coma. His insults hurt just as much as his baton. Now go to the forums and cry like the little bitch you are! Name yeah, five things that aren't well. cloaker. Oh my god! Name five things. Uh, ammo bag, uh, pizza, uh, lamps, uh, cloaker. <laughs> wow, that are. cloaker doesn't give a fuck that he's on fire. Look at him. This cloaker just jumped over a fucking Toyota and kicked me in the jaw. Dude, I bought a disposable camera and I turned the flash on and it made the cloaker noise and I actually was scared. Like, for a second. <laughs> you wanted me oh my god! I dumped like two mags into him. What the fuck? Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, cloaker. Some fuck, game fuck, game fuck, 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 fuck. A taser is Walmart great value brand cloaker because he will tie you up with 50,000 volts, but that same shock forces you to blast your weapon at random. And no matter how much he yells at you, bullets are better than barbs. I'm the fucking spark man. Turn the lights. Oh, I'm getting tasered. Fuck. If anything, that just makes me more dangerous. 
then it makes my deagle shots indiscriminate. Wait, did I hear closer? No! Fuck you, Taser! Bring your voltage somewhere else! Fuck me, hell! Am I gonna get hurt? Oh, he's oh god, he's fuck you, Taser. Guys, so. Yes, I got him with it. But even barbs and bullets have a master, the bulldozer, who is exactly what he sounds like. So if you're not gonna hit him in the faceplate, you may as well not hit him at all. You're up against the wall, and I am the fucking wall! There he is. Make way. Oh, amateur. I don't have the mag size. Fuck you, bulldozer! Make <laughs> way! <laughs> Dozer. Oh, dozer. Make way! Oh, no! Oh, that's perfect right timing, Chad. Did you hear that? God, I love the clanging sound when you hit him in the helmet. I have the key card, by the way. What the fuck? There's no way that a bulldozer can climb up a wall. Shields and medics aren't nearly as scary as they are annoying, with mag dumping juiced enemies and acrobatic shield surfing being a virtual requirement while they're around. I'm here! And I brought drugs. All right, I've had enough of your shit. I'm gonna flame surf you into the fire and flames. Oh, that works. What the fuck, you asshole? There we go. I took his knees out. Come on, come on. Oh, you chose the wrong career, asshole. Snipers can dink the shit out of you with devastating long-range shots, but I'm gonna subtract 10 points for obvious lasers and 10 more for lacking self-awareness. Literally hundreds of cops are dead. Sniper gets a kill. Yep, that's seven. <laughs> Literally killed hundreds of police officers, and then you hear bolt-action sniper rifle ring out on the radio. That's number six. <laughs> it's like there are unique units from time to time, like Captain Winners and his bulletproof shield failings. Too bad nobody ever told him the difference between bulletproof and blast proof. There! The payday gag! Actually, no, I can do Oh, what is happening? <laughs> I'm just seeing shields move around. And keep in mind, there is variety within these units depending on your difficulty, like the regular bulldozer, the skull dozer, and the zeal dozer. Oh god, the zeal dozer. I'd rather have syphilis. I'm gonna drop on these shitheads like a fucking piano! But even SWAT, cloakers, tasers, dozers, shields, medics, snipers, and captain motherfucking winners ain't got shit on civilians. These suckers are nightmares because they're so useful yet so fragile at the same time. Useful because holding them hostage can slow down the enemy assault, SWAT doesn't want to bust in all ham-fisted and accidentally bulldoze some innocent civilians, so they move slower, giving you much-needed breathing room. As long as they have hostages, we're gonna be delayed on assault. Fuck! Even more useful due to a mechanic called custody. If you're down too many times without a medic bag, or you bleed out because everyone is ignoring you to fix the goddamn piece of shit thermal drill, this drill is a joke! You'll be taken into custody as if you were arrested, but if you have a hostage, your buddies can trade them for you like a get out of jail free card. Don't ask me why the cops think trading a single civilian is worth letting a psychotic mass murderer back into the fight. I don't have an answer for you. The maniac has a fucking saw! Useful, like I was saying, but fragile, like I was saying. Because their behavior is random as fuck. You lose money if you kill them due to cleaning costs, and any slight misclick usually results in a dead civilian. Do we fail water. if we shoot civilians? You lose money, but feel free to gun them down. I mean... Oh shit, that was a misclick! I did, not, I did not know that if you press three, he automatically throws it. I thought he would just take it oh. out, not throw it into a civilian's mouth. God. That was such oh, a no. misclick. Oh, oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> Can I kill anybody if I just hit the disco ball? Yeah, like, yeah. You can take SWAT members as hostages too, which can't hurt. Ask any lawyer you want. There's no such thing as too much leverage. Alright, I'm gonna trade you in. Oh, yes, yes. Have him yeah. surrender and then light him on fire. Yeah, hey, I, 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 can I see this guy's eyeballs? Oh, I think I can. <laughs> uh, oh, fuck you. Stop looking at my hostage. But I'm fucking up now. I told you I would burn the tedious details, so enough about the bad guys who are actually the good guys, but let's talk about the clowns. I mean, let's talk about you. Fight the pain! Fight the clowns! You can be encapsulated in this one screen right here inventory. From who you are, to what you're packing, to what skills you bring to the table. Don't worry if it looks complicated, cause I'll compress this shit for you in no time. <laughs> Congratulations, you've ruined it. The character you choose has no impact on gameplay. You've got 20-some to choose from, and just so you can put names to faces, or masks, Dallas is by far the most recognizable. Ah! I need a medic back! 
Ah, I'm done. Chains is the black guy that's legally considered a pickle in 14 states. On the goddamn ground! I turned myself into a pickle, Dale. Hoxton, not to be confused with Houston, is definitely Hoxton and in no way Houston. You got it? Don't act dumb. Wolf is the token foreigner with zero patience. Imagine unironically being European. Get the fucking door open! And the last of the payday gang, Bane. He doesn't have time to be a clown because he's too busy managing the entire circus. That's the alarm. Time to do some heavy lifting. Your mask has no impact on gameplay, but god damn it is it ever important. Masks are at least 74.3% of the fun in Payday 2, and mine are so bad, I'm basically an enemy of mankind at large. Just execute me already. You're gonna get the chair for sure. I'm gonna confuse you for a cloaker and shoot you in the face. <laughs> I can already tell. Okay, okay, okay no, that's good. Won't. That's good. <laughs> that mask the is literally prime bad. society. God damn the, the, it's the, the, so the dogs. Fun. Dude, your posture is just edgy. Like if you put the word yeah. society in Comic Sans society. over you, Joe Bama, bro. What's Joe Bama? What's Joe Bama? Joe Bama. I mean, uh, we gotta burn down Gotham. <laughs> Who's Joe? Joe Bama. It's about sending a message. <laughs> Shut up. Put the money in the back. Uh, put the money in the uh in the back. <laughs> Spell mm. I God, that's so fucking gross. Yeah, please don't punch any kids in the face. Are you a burnt baby, Mickey? You have ruined the it mask. It looks so bad. I am Mitch McConnell. Feed me poor people. <laughs> <laughs> you may not like it, but this is peak male performance right here. This is peak doge. <laughs> peak doge performance. And you can't make fun of me for being a walking shit post. This whole game is an elaborate shit post. Just look at the Payday 2 Twitter account. Why'd you have to do them like that, man? All up to right in the kiss or hot darn. Are you winning, heisters? Armor is where we get into shit that does affect the game. And I'll keep it simple. Walking into a bank in a two-piece suit, aka zero armor. Good news, high speed, low drag. You're fast and you're detected risk is very low because you know walking into a bank with a suit on is perfectly normal and not suspicious at all bad news shit hits the fan and you have no kevlar whatsoever and meatbag human beings are notorious for their lacking bullet resistance and what the, the fuck are you doing, Mickey? Do you know what friction I'm is? Bad. I am speed! I am speed! Walking into a bank with maximum arm. Good news, you're an 800 pound gorilla in an Iron Man suit. You eat RPGs for breakfast and are sometimes mistaken for an M1A2 Abram. Bad news, you are suspicious as fuck and slow as fuck. Because unlike a two piece suit, normal people don't get kitted out in 100 pounds of body armor just to deposit a check or take out a loan. So kiss stealth goodbye and be prepared to have your cover blown in two seconds. God, you are so fucking slow. Yeah, run, slow boy, run. Oh yeah, I have no bullets. I should probably go back inside. I'll see you fellas later. Oh god, that's not an inside way. Thank it's god not... I'm an 800 pound gorilla. I don't know how I would survive this otherwise. Damn, I run like a complete fucking idiot. And choosing speed versus armor is usually dictated by the build you're running, with a combination of skills and perks. Don't freak out, I'm not gonna make it complicated, and I'm not gonna crush you with terminology here. I know you've been playing Payday for two hours, but if you don't have the stone perk deck maxed out right now. Skills and perks are just ways of making your character better at certain things. Period. The end. That's it. Not so scary, right? Now, when people yell the words blank build at you, they're just telling you what their character is really good at, with the two prevailing builds being tank build and dodge build. Tank build is super simple, and it's what I run. Most of my skill points are spent maxing out armor and ammo, so I can be a walking block of tungsten with more bullets than God and bulldoze the bulldozer. Fuck you, bulldozer. <laughs> I'm not moving. I'll reload right in front of your face, boy. <laughs> oh, man. Skill points become more abundant as you level up and can be allocated in any way you want. You could put points in every tree to make yourself a jack of all trades or blow it all in one tree to make yourself a one trick pony. Perks don't give you that freedom because you have to choose just one tree and I went with muscle maxed out to give me shit tons of health and figuratively make me into an 800 pound gorilla. Oh my god, I'm now an 800 pound gorilla. You have roughly four times as much HP as me. He knows that I'm an 800 pound gorilla and all of his skills are useless. <laughs> oh my god. Keep in mind that the skills and perks you choose can either be straightforward like, hey, Hey, I'm running Iron Man, which makes me kind of slow and basically immortal. Why is everyone so fast? Because I'm running Ultra Iron Man build and I'm basically made out of tungsten. Or they can be just absurd, like Bullet Storm in the Ammo Tree that gives anyone a bottomless magazine for 15 seconds after resupplying from one of my ammo bags. Okay, okay, I want to do the RPG trick. Okay, okay, let's see. Yes. Yes, King. Whoever wants some can get some right now. Right now. 
Yes! They Unlimited power! <laughs> Unlimited power! What the fuck is this? Nice, Grouse. Be hopping and launching him. Oh my god. Zoomers in 2035. <laughs> I watch these guys just spawned in. <laughs> All right, I ran out. <laughs> you know what the best part about that whole thing was, Badger? Is that that was one M203. <laughs> it was a single M203 oh that did God. all of that. And on the topic of absurd, let's talk about those dodge builds you always hear about. What do you mean you're not running a full dodge crit with three concealment? <laughs> Dodge is a hilarious mechanic that gives you a percentage chance to not take damage when you're shot. Just imagine a dozer pulls up and shoots you in the chest, but instead of you immediately taking damage, there's a split second roll of the dice that occurs to determine whether that shot is a hit or a miss. And players with jacked dodge stats have a very high chance that bullets are gonna miss and do no damage, almost as if they dodged a bullet. Again, it's literally just a percentage chance to not take damage when shot, but visualizing it this way makes a whole lot more sense in my brain. Hey, Grouse. Yeah. If you're not running dodge, what do you usually run for like dodge? When I'm not running dodge, dodge, I usually run dodge. Do you, you like gambling? Dodge. Yes. Do you like gambling with your life? All the yes. time. Yes. All the goddamn time. Yes. As far as I'm concerned, dodge builds are the wizard lizards of Payday 2. They neo their way around entire levels at the speed of light, tiptoeing around thousands of rounds with zero body armor or concern that they're gambling with their lives. The I told me it was either her or the dodge build. God, I miss her. <laughs> I may have 60% chance to dodge bullets, but not 60% chance to dodge alimony. <laughs> that. That's a 100% hit rate. <laughs> and some of the additional skills and perks people spec in dodge builds are just as hilarious, like Second Wind, which jacks up your movement speed when your armor breaks, so sometimes setting yourself on fire is a good idea. Grenade! I don't feel too good. <laughs> <laughs> the two words that I heard were grenade. I don't feel too good. <laughs> and you just sprinted down. That's not impressive. How about Kickstarter, where meleeing a broken drill or saw gives it a 50% chance of just fixing itself? I'll show you Zoomers how we did it in the 90s. Cash money. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, somebody stop me. No, well, how about a 23 round M1 Garand? If that isn't some of the coolest shit you've ever heard, please close this video. Someone say Garand. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Does everybody in this Discord just have a M1 yes. Garand? And don't even get me started on Inspire and Swan Song. Those are just ridiculous. But you get it now. There's Maximum Chonk, Maximum Dodge, and everything in between. Let's pick a fucking loadout already. Equipment comes first, with supporting items like ammo bags, medic bags, first aid kits, all the shit that's really useful when you're in a pin. Do you even know how fucked you are? Oh my god. god shut <laughs> up. Shut please. The fuck up. Can you shut the fuck up and try to enjoy payday? And I tell you what, the weapon arsenal in this game is so vast and so varied, it rivals literally any game I've ever played. Oh, he does get set on fire. We got new shit. We got old shit. We got powerful shit. We got dummy shit. We got shit that explodes. Shit that sets on fire. If you can't find a weapon you love in Payday 2, I'm gonna need you to move your ass to another planet. No cap. Listen, if I'm at a bank and somebody robs it with a flamethrower, I'm giving him my money. You want to tear through an entire police force in style? Go akimbo. Whether that's Glocks, Deagles, or 45 long slides without the custom laser sighting. I don't see why all the Payday 2 veterans are hating on the akimbo glock 18s with rpg secondary build i don't see the issue with this build hurry up oh god the deagles are just deadly yeah, two not deagle not fuck you go around are you running akimbo i'm running, running 45 long slides without the laser sighting you cash no shortage of explosives with rpgs commando rocket launchers and china puffs if bullets just don't hit hard enough the bulldozer you know what that means Oh, that's so true, Herpender. Imagine being a police veteran that's two months away from retirement and you go to one final dispatch and some shitter wearing a fucking doge mask directing back to you with an RPG. I mean, you're gonna kill everybody in the room with a back blast anyways. The ACOG on the RPG. Fuck it, it's half of your screen. And then I just turn you off. That's the reticle. I just, I just go, boop. Excuse me, sir, your free trial of life has expired. 
Oh, oh, I didn't think I would connect. Yeah. Oh my word! <laughs> my no, it's mine. Oh, the hang time. Fuck around and find out. <laughs> oh, I wish a gamer would. <laughs> 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 right. Just pulled out the rocket launcher. Yeah, oh, the United <laughs> Bank of Money. <laughs> You probably should have brought a secondary that uses bullets. Never in a million years. Fuck you, Bing. <laughs> Everything has trade-offs. Like a minigun may be crazy powerful, but your detection rating is gonna suck because you can't concealed carry some shit that big. You'll burn through your ammo with it and sometimes be forced to rely on melee. A concealment of two? How do I get that to zero? My man got a detection risk of 75. Literally, Max. Give me your shit. bullets, you fuck. <laughs> Give me your bullets. God damn it. Are you really gonna make, make me take them from you you fuck i hate you god damn it melee and throwables are yet another rabbit hole do you want to light someone on fire with a molly or throw a javelin into their neck do you want to smack someone in the face with bolt cutters or beat the shit out of them with a literal wad of cash you get what i mean badger i dig the attempt of trying to bring a dozer down with a hockey stick yeah <laughs> I hit him once and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Weapon attachments and customization add another layer of complexity, but I won't complicate things. Just like skills and perks, you spend these things called continental coins to make your weapons better. Oh my, grouse the reload on this. Cause you oh, have shit. the speed pull mag, bro. Fuck you, bulldozer. No matter what weapon you choose, you're welcome to make it as standard or disgusting as your heart desires thanks to customization. The Thanos 50 cal is a prime example. Oh, I can make it even stubbier. Oh, Krause, fuck off. Why? Where is the oh, barrel going to fly into to compensate for the <laughs> recoil when you fire it? Into my shoulder, gamer. You're going to... What the fuck you think? <laughs> to the ATF, that is a pistol. That's it a life be... sentence to the ATF. Your dog <laughs> is ATF, dead. That's not a stock. That is a brace. <laughs> Bloop, how dare you. My hip fires are this good now. My hip fires are this good now. Look at me, I'm paying oh, okay, okay. like an actual hey, human being. But I'm getting too complicated again. Just pick something you like that synergizes with your loadout. Like my setup of an 800 pound gorilla in a mech suit carrying a snub nose minigun I call the Weed Whacker, abusing the bullet storm skill for literally 60 seconds of a bottomless magazine. Oh god, imagine this shit walked into your bank. Time for the unlimited bullets meme. Run it, run it. Running. It's like a memory leaked MP3 of a minigun. <laughs> it hasn't stopped yet. It hasn't stopped yet. When you kill someone, does it refresh? No, I think the game just fucking people. I got an achievement for 25 straight seconds of minigun fire, so... <laughs> and that about covers it. Keep in mind that there are some things you'll have no problem learning or getting used to on your own, like bugs you'll encounter. That's the one. Oh, he got stuck. My boy is morphing into a different dimension. I can what fire an invisible fuck? RPG. What the fuck? Dips. Oh my. Did you guys see his <laughs> neck? He Spaghetti. went like nope.avi <laughs> for like a second there. Oh, to get, to get me You're too. in a dumpster. Why? Yeah. Why? Dude. Explain. Prime minute warfare. Huh, I'm going to give you. <laughs> Chat, what the fuck? What did I just see? <laughs> <laughs> I need to take a lap. I'm, I'm literally gonna take a lap. Now. Old Dozer literally said fuck work and just went home. He was like, I'm done. I'm going home. I must go. My Dozer's need me. Dozer said it's time to clock out. Exactly, Wolf, when it's 4.59 on Friday. Is that Dozer? Oh no, Booty Blast. When the teacher says the bell doesn't dismiss you, I do. <laughs> oh shit! But I think you're fine finally ready to start pressing F on shit, murdering thousands of cops, and bumping the legendary soundtrack. Go to soundtrack and set same as host, because Heavenly wanted to hear Don't Act Dumb. <laughs> I love Razormind, I love Backstab, but above all else, I love Random. There's just something different about getting a banger of a song by chance, especially if that banger is I will give you my all while blasting people off of a high rise. It's, 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 it's okay, you can get off the building. We don't need you up here. This is a neat map.
Oh, what the fuck? Get the, the fuck hell out down the from there. Hey, I'll dynamite your asses off the roof. Yeah, get oh, off the roof. Fuck. Get off the roof. You're so right, Roofy. The poor people just driving down the road around this building. <laughs> that must be straight torture. And in case you were curious, you can in fact play it in VR. As if this shit really needed more features. What the fuck, Big? You're one-handing it? Why? <laughs> Why? There will come a day for mercy. <laughs> Today is not that day. You can't gank the fire. Amiga. Oh no. This is a war crime. This is a war crime. <laughs> I will not let you do this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll stop, I'll stop. I mean, the Cracker Barrel is the firelink shrine for white people. When you die, that's where you respawn. <laughs> and that's about it. That's... All I got to say, please buy some gamer subs. Holy shit, man. It bulldozes your thirst and it is the greatest powder ever to be mixed with water. Or sub on Twitch or do something. I gotta make money on this video somehow and YouTube sure as shit isn't gonna monetize me getting choke slammed by cloakers for 20 minutes. I'd like to thank you so very much for watching and be sure to tune in next time with, you know what?